OU Nave's Performance Prediction Model, Exercise 9, Evaluating Airport Environments. In this exercise, we are recreating a model where the Indianapolis Airport constructs a new runway in a required ILS system for both ends. An eight-element LPD array was installed on runway 23R. This facility would not pass commissioning flight inspection because of excessive structure roughness. So what we're going to do is recreate this model and then verify that the runway is indeed out of tolerance. We will then change the simulation to make the model within tolerance. We'd like to determine the possible solutions to obtain a satisfactory Category 1 course quality. So the exercise gives these configurations. Now using our new OUNPPN model, we're going to create a new localizer and we will set our rate type to an 8 element LPD. The setback is 1010 feet. The frequency is 109.7. The runway length is 11,200 feet. And the threshold crossing height is 55 feet. And under flight parameters, this is a standard ILS-3 approach, and it shows that our altitude at threshold is 55 feet. Using the visualization, we can see here we have our runway. And if we zoom out, we can see here we have our full ILS-3 approach. Now the exercise gives us an image of the airport. Now the threshold for runway R23 is where the mouse cursor is right now. It's on the left hand side of this image. However, in our visualization, the threshold is where these three axes meet. The red corresponds to the x-axis, the green corresponds to the y-axis, and the z corresponds to the up axis. And then over here is where the localizer is. So therefore, we will have to recreate this setting in our model, except all of these buildings will be will appear to be on the other side of the runway, that is, up where the cursor is in the visualization. So let's start creating this model. And the first thing, the first plate that we're going to create is, is plate A. We can see the image has plates A, B, C, D, and E. We will create plate A. So we're going to go to the Scatterer Group Editor, and this brings up a plate editor. We're going to create a new plate. And if we look in the image, plate A has a length of 340 feet. 340 feet divided by 2 is 170 feet. Therefore, we're going to make this plate 170 feet uh, in the x1 direction and negative 170 feet in the x2 direction. And we're also given in this exercise that the height of plate A is 72 feet. That's shown in the lower left corner of the screen. So we're going to give this plate a height of 72 feet. Now, if we look in the visualization, we start in a top-down view, but we can move the camera to get a side view of the plate. And this is simply our plate A. So what we want to do here is save this plate A, and we'll call it exercise 9A for plate A of exercise 9. We have now created our first plate, and we want to put it into this model. Therefore, we're going to click the Open button and choose the plate we just created and insert it into the model. Now, if we look in the model, we can see here is the plate that we just created. Now we need to position it in the world at the appropriate location. The locations are given in the lower left corner of the screen. There. 
we have now positioned the plate correctly, but we need to orient its angle to point in the correct direction. All right, now we have created our first plate and inserted it into the world. Uh, we would repeat the same process using the scatterer group editor to create plates B, C, D, and E. However, I've already created these ahead of time to speed up this video. So I'm now going to insert plate B. And again, it inserts the plate at the threshold. And what we need to do is position it appropriately. Now we will add plate C. Now plate C is exactly the same as plate A, it's just at a different position and orientation. Therefore we will actually add plate A again into the list but set its position and orientation accordingly. All right, now we will add plate D. And finally, plate E. Again, all of these positions are relative to the threshold. Okay, we have now inserted all of the plates into the model relative to the runway's threshold. And we can see here that our NAVAID model matches the image given to us in the exercise. One important thing to note is if we zoom in closely on these plates, we can see that all of the plate normals, these little yellow lines, are pointing towards the runway and towards the localizer. This way, the, the plates will be included in the model when the computation is performed. <clears throat> well, all we need to do now is run the model, but first we need to add in a trace. Now in this trace we are only going to use the course array since our localizer model only has course array parameters. Okay, we are now ready to run the model. We can see right here in this graph that we are out of tolerance. Now the purpose of this exercise is to find a configuration that will bring this intolerance. So for example what we could do is change this to a 14 element array and then run the model again. We can see now that we are closer to tolerance but we may be out just a little bit. If we'd like to further clean this up what we could actually choose is use a 1410 element array and then we'll use our trace to a, to a simulate both the course and clearance arrays and when we run it this time we can see that we are well within tolerance and so here we can have all the graphs this graph shows that we are out of tolerance with the default exercise parameters. Here we've changed it to a 14 element course array. And then here we've changed it to a 1410 course clearance array. <laughs>